Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can install Debian on a VM or workstation that's running on a Windows 10 device. The first thing we'll need to do is download the image for Debian. So just open a browser and search for Debian download. And then go to debian.org. And here you'll see the different installation options. Uh, you can do live system from a CD, DVD, or USB. You can do a small installation image. I want to do the full install, so I'm going to go with uh, one of these. So I'm going to be using the 64-bit ISO image. So just click on it. I already downloaded this image. I'm going to cancel this. Once we have the image downloaded, we can begin the installation. So on uh, VMware Workstation, go to File new virtual machine click on next and then next it's going to be linux and it's debian so let's find debian here it's uh version 12 64 bit next you can give your virtual machine a name and then select the location where you want this to be installed the virtual machine click next and then Choose the size for your disk. I'm going to increase this to 40 GB. I'm going to go with the uh, option to split virtual disk. Next, uh, I'm going to click finish. And there is our virtual machine. I'm going to right click on it and go to settings. Uh, if you wanted to increase the memory, you can do that. I'm going to increase it to 4 GB processor. You can also increase that depending on what you have available. Uh, let's look at the CD DVD. We need to attach the ISO image. So select the option to use ISO image file. Browse. Go to where you downloaded the ISO image. So let's find where we downloaded ours. And this is it right here. I'm going to select it and click open. I'm going to look at the network adapter. I'm going to use bridged. You can go with NAT depending on how you have your network set up. And that's all I'm changing. I'm going to click OK. And now we're ready to boot up the virtual machine. I'm going to click on power on this virtual machine. And we're going to be doing the graphic install. So I'm going to press enter to select that option. OK, the language, I'm going to go with the default English. Continue. Location, I'm going to go with the default, continue, keyboard, English as well, continue. Now I'm going to be pausing throughout the installation and I'll just be unpausing when I have to input information. Okay, so here we need to put the host name. I'm going to go with whatever they put in, which is Debian, continue. Domain name, put in your domain name and then press on continue here we need to set up the root password so just input the password for the root user the admin user and then click continue you need to create a user none root user so just type in the name full name press continue then type in the username and click continue then Create a password for that user we just created. Confirm the password. Click on continue. Select your region and then click continue. So here we are being asked to choose the partitioning method. I'm going to go with the default guided. I'll click on continue. Then I'll select the disk to partition continue and then i'm gonna go with the default all files in one partition continue and this is the uh, overview continue and then it's asking if you want to write the changes to the disks i'll say yes continue so here we'll go with the default option of no so there's no extra media to be scanned and i'm gonna go with the no as well here i'll click continue 
I'm gonna go with no again, continue. Here we have the option to choose the software to install. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna select SSH server. And then I'm gonna click on continue. Now at this point, it's asking whether we want to install the grab bootloader. And uh, we do wanna install that, so we'll go with yes. And we'll select this option for the installation location and click continue and it's almost done it's uh, finishing the installation so it should be done anytime soon so the installation is complete we can reboot the device So I'll come back once the reboot is completed. Okay, so we are at the login screen and this is the username we created. We'll need to put in the password for this username. And there we are, we are logged into our Debian. So it's the welcome window next next and skip and let's go ahead and uh, open the terminal so we can check to verify that we have a valid ip let me pin this to the dashboard and let's increase the font size custom font let's increase this to 17 close this we'll type IP address command and we do have a valid IP let's, let's check if we have internet connectivity we'll ping google.com so let's fix this count three and we're able to pin google.com you can check the version of our uh, debian OS release and it's version 12 so that's all for this video that's how you can install debian version 12 on uh, a windows 10 device using vmware workstation so i hope this information has been helpful i'll catch you in my next video thanks bye